Our son Leo has several severe food allergies and so we have to carry an EpiPen and Benadryl everywhere we go. We've never had to give him an EpiPen, um, but recently his EpiPens expired and so we got a new set. So this is one of his old EpiPens, it just expired about a week ago. And we talked to the allergist about um, my husband injecting it into his leg so that he could see what the epinephrine feels like um, if, if we were to ever have to give it to our son so we know exactly what we're doing. So I've practiced a few times with the practice auto injector. It always looks different. It's gray. Um, so you just pull the top out and then you put this part in the meaty part of the thigh and you press down and you hold for 10 seconds. So this is the actual epinephrine. So I have to pull, pull the blue top off, putting on his thigh and push till it clicks. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, I, if you can see, there's this tiny little dot of blood right here. That's where the needle went in. Um, my husband said he didn't even feel it, right? No, uh, I mean, it's just for a little peace of mind. I wanted to try it on myself just to know what I'm potentially going to be doing to my son someday. Hopefully I never have to, but I mean, the reality of it is uh, more than likely someday I'm probably going to have to administer an EpiPen to him. Uh, Did you I feel don't like feel you're... that bad now uh, after doing it to myself. Obviously for him, it's going to be more uh, more scary than painful, but uh, at, at least for peace of mind, for I know for a lot of parents out there, it's you, you hardly feel the needle. And, uh, you do feel the, the epinephrine as it's uh, kind of going into your thigh. You kind of feel your thigh getting a little bit warm, but I mean, it's not uh, it's not anything that your child's actually going to be in any real pain. It's uh, more than likely it's just going to be the the fear being scared. But uh, other than that, it's uh, it's not it's not different than uh, I mean, it's just it's not that bad, honestly. Perfect. This is what the um, EpiPen looks like after. So you can see the top is off. Um, you cannot push this back down because it clicked out, um, which makes it different from the, the practice. The practice one, when you push it till it clicks, it comes out and you can push it back in. You cannot do that with the actual EpiPen, um, but you just know that that it worked, that it went in if, you, if, you, if it um, locks out and you can obviously a tiny little bit of blood. So I hope that helps you if you're concerned about giving your child an EpiPen. And out of all the research that we've done about food allergies, reactions, and when to administer an EpiPen, um, if you feel like you should, then you probably should. It's always better to be safe than sorry. And if, you, um, if you're debating it, then go ahead because there's really um, no adverse side effects that we know of that our doctors have told us, always check with your doctor, but there's always no real side, uh, adverse side effects for giving an EpiPen, even if it's not needed. So since we have a second EpiPen that's expired, I wanted to try a self-administer, um, just in case any of you out there have kids who would need to self-administer an EpiPen. Um, I'm a little bit nervous because I don't like shots, but my husband just did it and um, he said he didn't even feel it. So you have to remove the top, um, put it here. Sorry. Don't even feel the needle. If you want to come in, honey, you can just see where I put it in. Um, I didn't feel the the needle. I can feel the medicine kind of flowing a little bit now. Um, my husband said that he felt it a little bit more a couple minutes afterwards, but I know it starts working right away. This is also an Epi, these are EpiPen Juniors, so they're obviously not meant for our height and body weight. Um, so that might be also why we're not feeling it right away, but at least we know what it feels like. It just feels, for me, it feels a little bit tight on my leg um, and almost like I, I just got pinched. 
maybe a little sting or something. Um, but that's about the most, the most that it feels. So hope this helps you. I wanted to make one more follow-up video to talk about um, how I feel now that it's been a couple minutes since I uh, injected the EpiPen into my leg. Um, I definitely felt shaky and a little bit weak. Um, not in a bad way, but I could just definitely feel the uh, adrenaline. Um, my breathing was just a little bit heavier, a little bit faster, and I just felt like I needed to sit down. Um, you can tell like, like my heart's racing right now and whew, I just, I, I just feel a little bit shaky. Um, again, none of it feels like, um, uh, uh, bad, like, uh, like, like I'm getting sick or anything. I can just definitely feel the effects of the adrenaline. And, um, so if you give your child an EpiPen, they're, they're probably not going to want to walk. If, if they're small children, they'll probably be crying. Um, they're not going to understand how, how they feel. So just ensure that, you know, you can, uh, sit them somewhere or lay them down, help calm them down. Um, maybe shush them, hug them. Um, you know, uh, maybe afterwards put a cold washcloth or something just to, uh, like maybe on their forehead or their head or something just to help calm them down. Um, because I, um, I kind of expected what to feel, but obviously a small child isn't going to understand. Um, so you're, they're probably going to be, feel really tired and fatigued too. Um, I'm, I'm wondering if I'm going to crash later, you know, just want to kind of hang out, but I definitely felt like, okay, I need to go sit down. My leg feels tight and I can just feel my heart racing and my, my breath, uh, my breath's getting faster. So again, if you have any comments, or questions, please um, let me know. I really, truly hope this video helps you. I was always, I'm always nervous about the thought of giving my son an EpiPen. I never want to, but obviously um, with him having so many food allergies, that's not necessarily the reality. We might have to one day, but at least now my husband and I both know exactly what to expect and what to feel, um, you know, what, what he's gonna be going through with an EpiPen injection.